Hey there guys and welcome back to Clustorio and uh, we are looking through the servers here trying to find one to join. So last time, uh, last episode I believe was actually a stream episode and uh, near the end there we started working on a nuclear world because we got power transfer working which is super exciting. So uh, I want to hop into that world first I think because I want to see what they've done uh, but it looks like the majority of people are in uh, Mejais which is a new steel smelting world and there's also people in Moria, Mining World, Nexus, which I do want to check out as well. Tesla, uh, Modules, I don't think I've actually ever been to the Module World. We may want to uh, check that out. Red Circuits, a new Red Circuits one, Texas Instruments. I'm trying to find this dang nuclear world here. Uh, Lazy Gravel as well as a Mining World, Mining... Higgins Moon I want to look at too because we were uh, looking to set up direct train mining. Copper smelting. So we have another copper smelting world I think. I don't I don't recognize that one. Um, how come I cannot find the nuclear world? Blood. There we go. I'm blind. <laughs> let's join and let's see what happens. So uh, this should be pretty interesting. Uh, I would imagine at this point they filled the entire like internal buildable area with the nuclear, uh, but it may be entirely different. We'll see. And then probably I think the plan was to stamp solar like on the outside of that. We're actually getting really close to our goal, guys. Like we are, we have the production set up like specifically science ways for 60k science a minute. Um, and now we just kind of need the other parts to feed it. Um, and that's probably why there's so many people like on a smelting world. I think steel's probably our main bottleneck at this point and red circuits perhaps. Um, but here we are. So you can see, wow, there is a lot here. It's actually entirely different. But so it looks like they like gave up on nuclear or something. They started when I ended the stream, I, they started in the corner and then didn't fill it. I don't know why they didn't start from a corner. Um, they're doing solar too on the same roll, which is fine. It's UPS pretty much nothing. Um, we're currently generating 61 gigawatts. 46 of it is from nuclear. However, that's not enough for all the world. So I'm a little curious. I'm going to hop in the voice with them in a second and maybe inquire as to why nuclear was stopped being built here. Maybe they just moved on or something. Um, I am curious where are these power tran here they are. So here's these put electricities and they can transfer one gigawatt at a time. Um, in fact, maybe part of the reason I'm actually interested here. I'm going to look really quick on my browser. Um, I'm interested if there's like excess electricity in here. I don't see it though in the Clustorio website. Um, electricity. There's not a much. There's not much. So I think we could still add more. Uh, looking at the Clustorio website, which you can, or the Clustorio stats thing, which you can check out in the description. Um, we're pretty good on iron, copper. I say pretty good. It's like 10 million. Um, steel is pretty much non-existent. Um, science packs. We do have uh, a million of military red. Then we have purple. Uh -huh. Blue looks slow, and that's probably because of well, blue doesn't take steel. I don't think. Not sure what's holding up blue. I'll have to ask him. Um, but yeah, so steel looks like a huge problem. Probably why everyone is in the steel world. So here's the nuclear world. Um, it's just tons of these builds stamped down here, which is pretty awesome. Um, there's excess pipes, which I think can maybe be done differently. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, but uh, either way, this is totally awesome. I think there could definitely still be more added. Oh, never mind. Server at UPS limit. Wow, that was quick. This must be a pretty poor server because, I mean, I'm only at, I'm not even at five game update, which is not, I mean, you, you don't start get, getting below 60 UPS until 16.6. .6. So, like, if the server's already maxed UPS wise, then this must be not a very good server um, because, you know, that's like, it's already three times worse than what I'm running at, um, which is a shame, but there's that. So, I wanted to show you guys the nuclear. Um, I also want to hop into, uh, I want to look at the modules and then we'll get in the voice chat and like visit like Nexus or something, but I don't think I've actually looked at the modules at all 
this entire playthrough. I think like I couldn't get into the world at one point, which is why I didn't do it. Uh, but I'm obviously able to get in now. Uh, so once we do get things kind of settled for 60k, I think we're, dis we're, we're discussing internally what to do. And I think we're actually going to try to go for 100k. And then once we reach that, um, we're going to kind of let it just go and in there and then plan for the next iteration of things. Um, where we may add in some mods or do some sort of different challenge. Uh, either way, it's going to be awesome. So, wowzers. This is lagging out pretty dang good. I don't know why. Um, wow, man. It's all out of power is why. I don't know if that's intentional. There's just like tons of these builds that aren't powered. Is everything not powered? What the hell's taking all the power? Is it this half? Okay, these should probably be powered. I'm pretty sure that unpowered entities take a fair bit of UPS. Um, so we have a ton of module production. Um, far more speeds than prods, but that's okay. And, uh, and yeah, so here's all the module production. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so those are all level ones. Actually, is that how these are set up? One, two, three. Are these huge bot networks? They're not. I'm wondering how they're transferring. Because... Oh, wait, no. One, two, three, four. Oh. Okay, so these are all level ones, which go somehow into the level twos. Not entirely sure. Oh, no. Okay, so these are level ones for science. I get it now. Because then these actually have level ones and twos being made in the same quadrant here. I believe. Yeah, because here's like a one, here's a three, here's a two. Okay, so those are just for science. These are for just actual use. Uh, so there's that. There's the module world. And then now I'm going to hop in the voice chat and we will see what we can uh, take a look at here, participate in for a little bit. This will be a bit of a shorter episode since the last one was so long. Um, but let's see what we can do. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Ah. Hello. Hi. Um, Fluffy, just yeah. uh, remove your mole build again. Okay. So, uh, how's everything going? We need more SSD. Mostly fine. I saw that. Everything we need more power. More faster, but... We require more Vespine gas? <laughs> yes. Or steal more faster. We require additional pilots. Um, so it looks like blue science is low at the moment. Steel. Do it as steel, but steel. no one cares for science. Well, blue does blue. The blue does, does blue take steel? I forget. Blue, yes. I believe, does take steel. It does take steel because it takes engines. And engines takes E. You can check if the engines are. The... Yeah, it takes. Them. Right, I forget. Yeah. If the engines are bottlenecked by steel, that's what I wanted to say. Well, I guess my yes. siren finally paid off. Haha. <laughs> you what? My siren. Oh. It did what it's supposed to. <laughs> Alert me when cool. someone removes the wire. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it's made for. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the thing restricting gear production. So if someone doesn't, then you'll suddenly have a billion gears in the system and no iron ore. <laughs> wow. So in the first version of that siren, he forgot to set it to global. Yeah, sure. So <laughs> you'll hear it if you're close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Which made it quite inefficient. Yes, yeah. but it worked now. Yeah. So thank you for editing that, I guess. I think I, I tripped over it. You were around. Yeah, and you were close enough to hear it as well. <laughs> I was wondering why there was uh, actually a siren. That was, I think, the initial. Yeah, uh, I have uh, I have put it on the map now. Siren, gear wire. Wow, so we're on bot speed. 21, 680 prod, damn. Yep. Space science is lacking due to steel, obviously. Oh, I know why we not, don't have enough acid. We're we lacking. I think we're lacking iron ore for acid. Uh, iron 
Iron Plate? And, and Predator. No, we have both. Yeah. Isn't it on? Oh, this is really cool, these little beaker lights. I love it. Yeah, those are really awesome. Oh man, yeah. Good job, Blooper. What did I do? You made these little science pack potion light indicators. Oh yeah. yeah. They are amazing. They're so cool. If they're full, they have a wide room. Because Came out better than my wow. idea. Oh man, yeah, this is so cool. I oh, know we do have space. I guess the I guess half the labs are intentionally turned off. Is what it looks like. Yeah, to save resources okay. for other production. Fair enough. Which seemed like a good idea. And I uh, I hopped on the nuclear server. I was surprised it's already UPS capped. It yep. must be not a really good server because like I was nowhere near like like nowhere near it, my UPS cap on that server. Oh. That is a potato. The other one is yeah. I think both. I think people have been saying both nuclear servers or potatoes. Yeah, it looks that way. They're better in potatoes. They got hamsters. Very lazy hamsters, maybe. So you need a little bit of workout. Whoops. So which servers do you uh, want to fit your thingy in on then? Uh, I think. Uh, to tell the truth, I'm not positive. It's the ones where the regular mobs would be gross overkill and not needed. This prod bar is so broken. Well, I found one of the issues I was having with why it was seemingly uncapped. I accidentally uncapped it. No, oh, so you're streaming or not? Uh, I'm, I'm recording. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so I'm now on minimal version 10 due to fuck ups. <laughs> <laughs> version 10. Wow. Yes. Version 10. Does anyone have a blueprint for a, a loading station for oil? Nope. For oil or for oil? Oil. Oil, I think. Does mortar have some? That's well, it's kind I of am. funny because it barely remembers. Well, one one, one, of, one of, the, like of the ring mining ones. Moria is it then? It's then Moria, not mortar. Mortar. Oh. I was them up. My bad. Oh, I found a blueprint for a magic fluid divider, so I'll use that. Um, basically, the basic gist of it is uh, add pumps and pumps and more pumps, and basically have only pumps and no pipe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you can, I think, hook up one wagon to one or maybe two pump jacks, and they just fill them. Like three seconds. With all that mining production. Can put tanks in between them. Oil loading is super fast. So, what are you guys uh, working on on China? Uh, it's just new malls, really. Um, so, we're redesigning it to be to include the getters and putters of power. Yeah. Oh. And there's two versions, one big one and one small one. So what's on my right here, that's the old mall that most of the servers have. Mm -hmm. And on the left is the new one, which includes the power getters and putters, and has all the circuitry kind of encapsulated in the middle. Oh, very nice. So... Yeah, do it. And it also yeah. drains uh, unused bots from the system. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, so these... these putters, then they only put like excess energy in, right? Yeah, they can yeah. deliver one gigawatt to the cloud each. And pull one gigawatt each. Right, but it, like if you're putting energy in from this network 
Or are you not? You're yeah. just getting... Oh, no, you do. Okay, because if you're putting it in, I do then both. It, it won't, like, shut down this network, right? From pulling all the power. No, wait. If you, no, come no. Up, if you come up to the northeast one, to the mini one, it's much easier to see here because it's more right open. On the right side, we have the getters, and if you click on the power switch, you can see it's enabled to A when it's greater than 95%. Okay. Which is hooked up to the accumulator on the left side here. So when that's almost full, it will then enable it. And put the excess in. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And when it's under 5%, it will enable the getters. I just realized one thing. So it's designed to push your factory into a situation where it may brown out and then save your factory from a potential brownout. Hmm, interesting. Very cool. I think we just solved the issue of storing excess energy in an etheric cloud, so we don't have to build the uh, fields of the actual accumulators. <laughs> Come again? Wait, shouldn't the energy be stored in the cloud already? No, it is. And but uh, what uh, what this essentially does is you export all the energy into an etheric storage, and it kind of sits there, and then you can import it back. So basically, you can do you can basically what you, you remove all the accumulators from the all solar uh, blueprints and just. Just use this logic and the panels and not use accumulators at all. Yeah. That's GT actually. Yeah, we are aware. Uh, but you need a lot of putters to make that work though. Well, yeah. not a lot, but yeah. And mm -hmm. we've tried to set it up so it's using the excess. So it's sending the excess to other servers because it can only really do it during the daytime. And I yeah, don't think no. we're going to be sat at the cap 24 7. Mm -mm. Actually, I think you're using less accumulators on the map if you are. Uh, well, PSI, if you. Them. I kind of agree with what you're saying, and I do feel like that's kind of more cheating than anything else, because you're basically using the cloud as a limitless accumulator. And if you could do that on all the servers, then yeah, it's, it's cheating. I kind of agree. But doesn't it cap out at 100 million, so it's not limitless? Well, I don't know. Uh, you basically get more out of your solar panels than you're supposed to get. Um, are we doing anything worthwhile with that 80,000 accumulators in the cloud? Yeah, but it's just uh, the same argument that we could build more accumulators. The, yeah, the accumulators yeah. are are getting used for these get and put electricities because there's 2k at the top. Yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. true actually. So if you place down 2,000 accumulators on the server, that would make the almost the same difference. Yeah, yeah. so it's not yeah. really that much different. No, it's condensed space. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's helping us put the power where it's more desperately needed. Only if someone builds power. Yes. A hundred million is not like a hundred tower jewels. I think the electricity in... Oh, wow. We just deconstructed a whole lot of the bots on this server. Yes. Right. Yeah, please remember we've been putting them out to the server. Oh no. Hmm? We have been putting bots out. Yeah, but we let's do this to 3k instead. So it'll insert more. <laughs> okay. Anyway, is accumulator production picking up because as it is now fixed? Deconstructing this though will be fun because this has a lot uh, of stuff in it. I think we're currently working. I think I might have found a way to optimize the current uh, accumulator build. We are working on it. But the old ones are now working full time. Yes. Because we, we've got a stamp that's a belt based. Um, we're seeing if we could scooch it in another tile because Factorio. Yeah, because why Which not? Which would allow us to do more direct insertion. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness, so slow. I'm sorry, Swan. Instructed. Yeah, the boss are going to be working here for a while because there was a hundred thousand concrete and a hundred thousand landfill in those chests. Oh my god. Just a little bit. Just a little bug with uh, during the construction of the mall. <laughs> a little teeny mishap. <laughs> little one. <laughs> it had been going on for a while before I even noticed it, so... Yeah. We should probably just nuke the chest. <laughs> if it wasn't in the middle of the base, I would do it. <laughs> How restrained of you. Yeah, I know, right? I'm quite sure. Um. Hmm. Yes. I don't know, this is just a really interesting build. I've never seen accumulators made this way. It is intent the accumulator samples are intentionally on the beacon. Oh, because I Because the batteries the batteries can't take that much, so there's not enough battery production to support full assemblies. Okay. Well, the accumulator well, machine has more beacons than the battery machine, though. Uh -huh. Or this one. This one only has 13 sources. Did we upgrade um, the servers? Meaning? Which server are you on? I don't see any of them in the list. When I'm on three nine, I'm on round forty one. Yes, we are on four one. Forty one. Forty one awesome. in the cluster mode is upgraded mm, as well. That might be a problem. Just upgrade to point forty one and upgrade Clusterio. That's the problem with trying to scrunch things. Then suddenly the beacons don't match up. Right. The the other problem here is that um, I need this space right next to the uh, assembly machine to switch the sides of the belt. So I can't, the underground here doesn't work. Oh yeah, there's no space for the switch to really then. Oh, cause, are you, so you're having batteries come in from this side too? Or, or Yeah, iron. we technically need, I think, 2.6 battery machines. Okay. Oh no, I think it was 2.4, something like that. It's two and change, like two eight. I wanted to say, but like, I don't think it's a full two eight. Two and something. Three would be overkill. But yeah, it looks like getting okay, that's it gone. Getting this extra block. It's well, a nukes were highly inappropriate. And inserts on the job. belt, but it's. Quite non trivial to get to work, so I think we'll just put down stamp of the old one that we know works. I mean, this one looks pretty much identical. It's the one that's already built that works, right? Yeah, I was trying to save a, save one block, but it's, um, it looks like it's there's some unforeseen issues, so let's just take this one and stamp it over again. I would think that'd be fine. I mean, one block won't hurt that much. Yes. Are we out of something? How come this isn't building? Oh, we're out of uh, sulfuric acid. Right, yeah, they were just talking oh. about that. Mm, acid should be coming in uh, just in another build, and it's going up and pumping one point. It's, there's almost two million in the cloud now, and I'm pumping. Okay. So we're thinking of turning this sideways and then projecting south and having the return belts come back up for the uh, put chest. I mean, we have plenty of space within the range, so why don't we just plunk down another step to the north of the current one? Yeah, north, there's okay. tons of room. Do we need, so we need all this production just for the get input things or yep. also because people are building solar everywhere true yeah we're still using we're still using more than 2000 per minute just 
from building solar. Well, I mean, we're making 15k a minute, but... Yeah, but, I mean, with the addition of the get and push thingies, we're using so much. True. We were already using a lot. We're still using a lot, plus all the things. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, time to do some server hopping and rebuild some walls, I guess. Yep. Uh, well, Sorry, can you um, see the access to the power chart across all the servers? Uh, wait. The access to the power chart? Yeah, I was asking the admin if you can. I haven't been listening to any conversations in chat. Uh, can you tell me what you wanted to do? Uh, do you have access to the power chart for just my random stuff? Mm. No, I think there's nothing hidden there, so... If if you don't see me don't see it, I will not see it. Okay, it's just that um, if you go to um, justmyrandomstuff.com, the link I'm posting in the chat again. It, with this one, if you look at the server China and Foxconn, for example, because I know they've got the thing set up, you can see how they're exporting power when they have a surplus. And we set up the getters, so if there's a chance of a brown up, they're going to get some power. It's a bit like how Mustafar's running, exporting occasionally and importing, knowing Mustafar's got an issue going on. I don't see... I don't think the, the electricity is actually on the graph. Because I don't see it. Yeah. It's on the oh, just my random stuff one. You can search your electricity. Oh, I maybe should uh, go through this storage. All right. Um. Gonna start going through the service from the top. Sounds good. All right. I'm gonna try to help build this thing here. The electricity storage in the cloud should improve significantly once all the servers just export their excess. Yeah, you would think so, for sure. <clears throat> if you use that balancing power board also, it should be pretty handy. Uh, someone's fucked up Mustafa. How so? Oh, well, shocker. It's currently gaining and exporting electricity at exactly the same time. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, nice. That's uh, yeah. China does some exporting. <laughs> yeah, China should export almost eight gigawatts, I think. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh yeah, now I can see the charts as well. Cool. Yeah, eight, ten gigawatts, and a few, a few <laughs> cycles. Last cycles, nothing. Yeah, you can see you can see it follows the day night cycle to build. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that's impressive. Look at Foxconn because it's currently built up to be able to output the sufficient power output for 140,000 processing units, despite the fact it peaks at 133,000. Wait, um, yeah, but uh, it's exporting uh, two million. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Why? Why Lud doesn't export anything? Um, fluffy. Yeah. Uh, Mustafa cannot uh, export at the same time. It's just going up and down. I'm looking at the graph on Mr. Phone. It looks like it's importing and exporting at the same time. Yeah, it looks like it. But it's just that uh, when the accumulator, uh, accumulators are full, it's starting exporting. And otherwise, it imports. Okay. The export is uh, set to 95% or something. Yeah, the importer should be set to um, a lower number, so when it's in a brownout situation, instead of always. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa needs it always. Um, well, I was just on load earlier before I got in here, and it was uh, exporting. Look, look, look at the power at the moment. Yeah. To your uh, right, there are a lot of uh, power getters. Working. 
fine. They should really be on switches. Ah, uh, yeah, you you need to look at the electricity graph, not get electricity or put electricity. Yep. And uh, Texas Instruments put actually is uh, all to the left. Uh, Godmore, you really should look at the graph. It's it's probably causing unneeded UPS and traffic. So, I probably shouldn't bring this up, but <laughs> isn't um, <laughs> isn't this technically inter-server teleportation on Tesla with these batteries? If it is, rip it up. Uh, oh what? no, are you not importing them? No, at one not. point at one point someone was importing batteries. Yeah, there was there was some, at some point we removed that. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, someone told me that. I was like, oh, yeah, that might be a problem. We dealt with that earlier. Very cool, perfect. Seventeen K a minute, not too bad. Uh, God, I need to make one because I don't have dedicated switches at the moment. What? For putting stuff down, I need to make new switches that I don't have dedicated at the moment because I've rebuilt them. Power switch? Are you sure we need yet more stamps for this? Um, Probably. Power switches. I haven't made a dedicated ones yet. Because I've just rebuilt them effectively. I had a brainwave. Uh, we can also make a small get setup to bootstrap the bigger one. That would be useful, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's make that. It's so nice watching these bots work. I have to move this power pole. Oh yeah, it's messing some stuff up. And I think it's got red wire going along in with it, too. So I just logged into Texas. And is Texas supposed to not have any power for their actual, like, grid chips uh, and stuff? Right, right, now? right now, we were using the, the power for bots making solar. We can't make solar right now, though, because we didn't have any um, substations. So right now, the entire factory is turned off. OK. All right, well, we're trying to increase substation production here. We're not doing anything with substations here. How does CERN still not have the mall? That's impressive. That's a good question. It may have gotten removed in like in the process of redoing science. Well, it still has the old system of just oh. setting everything up manually. So, yeah, it's th there is some sort of a mall here, but it's the old retarded one. It's very very outdated. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, this build is almost Yes, done. I know it's small, it's designed so you can stamp a couple. What'd you say? Um, I'm responding to what sandwich game. Sandwich game? I'm responding to what sent in game. Oh, right. Yes, it's small, but it's designed so you can stamp more. Okay. Do we not have substations in the cloud right now? No, not steel issue. So. Yikes, okay. Anything needed? Well, this thing will be on if we get like 20 substations or so. Okay, there's a get switch in the cloud. Let me just change this into a give. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, is anything lacking? Zuren has get her in the set him up ages ago. Because it was lacking energy, but I think no longer needs them. Alrighty guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode right here. Um I hope you enjoyed. We uh, did kind of a exploration of the multiple servers. Uh, you know, the power one, I'm really disappointed the power one can't handle more. It really does seem like a potato. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. At least the other servers can output their excess energy now too into the cloud instead of it just kind of going to waste. Uh, the mining server, you look there, I was looking at those trains. I'm not sure whoever built that, why they only did one miner into a wagon. Uh, maybe with this mining prod, when it's fully beacon like that, you only need one per side. Uh, but you can fit two, as you saw I was doing at the end of the last episode. Uh, I, I think two is still better. It's just going to fill the train up quicker. I think maybe they did it to compress it so there's not as much, like, unmined space in the patch or something. I don't know. It was kind of weird. Uh, but, I mean, with 1,300% productivity and mining that quickly, two of them will fill up a wagon fairly quickly. But I think four, two on each side would have definitely been better. Uh, this accumulator build is getting insane. Uh, it's it's awesome and uh, things are going along nicely. I mean you saw we were still consuming and making like 30k science a minute and it's just bottlenecked on steel. Um, so we're really close. We're making progress. It's awesome. I hope you guys are still enjoying it and I'm still really enjoying it. It's just a ton of fun, awesome project and uh, I think that's going to do it for me. So any thoughts or anything, comments, leave down below and until next time I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.